Happy Sunday, food lovers, and welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today, we are featuring one of our 1,000 Workout Hall of Famers, Mark Galarnik. As most of you know, Mark's journey with Fit Club has been an amazing one and is currently one of our belly burner coaches. We have him here today to show us his sample meal prep consisting of quinoa beef, air fryer fajitas, and a buckwheat and mushroom dish, as well as his everyday protein shakes. Can't wait to see how Mark does it. Everybody, let's welcome Mark Galarnik. <laughs> <laughs> all right well thanks for coming on the show mark no problem thank you for having me yes. second time second time right yeah, yeah i think you're one of the few that have has returned actually i'm trying no, to think who it. else has been back twice oh jessica yeah. okay you're the second one then <laughs> well you keep seeing my food friday food porn i see your food porn every friday <laughs> okay so let's get it started yes let's so I've never used an air fryer before, so I've thank God for Pinterest, so we're gonna use it today. Okay. So it's consisting of a fajita. So basically you're using peppers, onions, salt, pepper, and then you take a marinade for your flank steak or skirt steak, and that's it. So you, I already cut it up for you because I didn't want you guys watching me and sitting here watching me marinate meat for a while. Put it all in. We slice it in, and let's see, I'll bet you if I hit, uh, so I gotta put it on roast, I guess. Okay, so. Or um, at 400. At 400? Okay, yep. well how much time would we need to cook all uh, this? Let's say, well it's supposed to be eight minutes a pound, so let's just, let's do it for 16. Or we'll do it 15. Oh, 15? Yeah. Okay, and then at we'll, 400. at 400. And then, there we go. All right, so let's see how this thing works. You're gonna love it, Mark. Um, we're actually obsessed with this now. We weren't, like, we didn't, we were kind of hesitant on the air fryer before because, you know, it's just another gadget. But now we love it, and RJ uses it like five times a day. Okay. Literally. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do um, quinoa and a beef and quinoa. So the first thing is we want to take our fry pan here, hit the power. And we're using the top element, so you hold it here, move up your speed a bit, get some heat on there. And then the next one we're going to use is we're also going to, well, I can hold off on the buckwheat one yet, because that won't take that long. Well, you know what, let's just do it, because we can do it all. Let's do it, yeah, I'm here to help Let's you. just do it. So what we want to do is we just want to heat it up. You put your hand on it and you can feel it once it starts getting warm. <laughs> I'm going to need a spoon, please. Oh, a spoon? Okay, just yeah, over hang here. Yeah, on, on. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So we'll take the beef out and just put the beef in. And what you do is you just want to kind of use your spoon. Oh, I can chuck it out yeah, away. I'll chuck it. You just want to break it down a bit. And you're extra lean, and this thing will cook up nice and quick because you're going to want to brown it. But this way, by using a spoon, it helps break it up because it's all ground, right? So let's give it, probably should let it warm up a little more. That one's nice and hot. Get I like there. how you just touch it because I would never touch it. Yeah, it's going to be just feel your feet here. Hey, a little bit of oil. Okay, and then, so in here, I've already cooked the buckwheat and I already did the quinoa. And to cook both of them, they're all like cooking rice, right? You just, and I always like to use like stock, like a vegetable stock or a chicken stock or a beef broth when I boil it, just to try to give it a little bit more flavor. Okay. And we got, here all you're doing is you're putting in mushrooms, mushrooms and onions. You want to sweat that down. The nice thing about mushrooms is mushrooms has a lot of protein for you, which is good for you, right? Yes, actually mushrooms do have a lot of protein and I like it because it, it, it has a consistency of meat also, right? You could use portobellos, you could use a whole t a bunch of different mushrooms, right? Now you see it's slowly coming in. See, if it was my own home, uh, own home I would have used my fingers. Oh, gosh. <laughs> mm. 
Would you be shirtless too, Mark? <laughs> Sorry? Would you be shirtless too? No, no. Oh, yes. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Not even wearing pants either. Oh, no pants, Mark. <laughs> yeah. Meal prep doesn't take long. Really, the, the hardest part about all this meal prep, and this is stuff that we would have during the week, is it just takes time. It takes time to cut up all this stuff. And so we would use this kind of neither for dinner or we'd even have it for lunch. And then just throw it up in the microwave and just heat it up. Okay. You want to bring that down, let's just... You want it to nice and caramelize, right? Right. So Mark, you're one of the belly burner coaches. How did that go for you? How did it go? This, this belly burn, I'm actually down 11 pounds. 11 pounds? Yeah. And is this what you ate during the prep for the It would burn? be. It would be? Okay. It would be. Um, part of it was is out of the three times I've done it, Yes. this was the first time I actually did a 24-hour fast and I did a 20-hour fast. Okay. I kind of kept making excuses. Kept making excuses. And, you know, it's hard, but, you know, once you actually get into it, it's, just keeping it's yourself not that busy. bad. Exactly. And, you know, part of it was is also is... Um, you just enter everything on my fitness pal. Absolutely. And really it is just the prepping. Once you have the food prepped, you're you're set up for success, really. Well, and the objective is is that when you're doing anything you're gonna eat, if you know you're gonna have that tomorrow, then you just sit there and you say, Okay, this is this is what I need to do. This is what I'm gonna eat. Okay, how do I make the numbers work? Right. And that's it. It's just put it in there and make the numbers work around it. Because sometimes you won't always be able to do that. And, turn. and so, Mark, do you have any tips and tricks for how to how you lost the 11 pounds? Oh, drinking a lot of water. Drinking um, the water. No, but just following the process. Following just the process and doing there, it. Do what you have to do. You know how many calories you got to eat every day. Um, and really, it's it's the exercise is the exercise. But if I broke my leg, and if I'm not eating properly, guess what? I'm going to gain weight. So the reality is you just need to focus on making sure that you're eating right and you're eating within your macros and just being accountable. The only person you're lying to is yourself by not putting it in. And only you can do it. That's actually really good. The only person you're lying to is yourself. I like that. It's true. I have many good sayings, but I... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's good. So we're okay. getting that going. Okay. So uh, where's your um, ninja? My ninja's over here. Okay, perfect. Okay, and, and it's plugged in already, it's right? It's plugged in, yes. Okay, so we need a little bit of um, a little, little uh, chopper thing. Chopper? Oh, chopper's here. All right, chopper's right here. So the first one. Shelly Carpake says hi. Hello, Shelly. And Blessing says, wow, that's nice, Mark. Thank so the first one we're doing is... Blessing, where have you been? We haven't exactly. seen you in such we're a long so, time. We're waiting for that Ethiopian yes, day. Yes, yes. Well, we miss you, Blessing. <laughs> oh, Mike. Oh, Mike. California Mike. Mike. Woo. <laughs> so what we have here is one of our one of our protein shakes that we always like to have. It's with spinach, vanilla protein, and then we use a cup of... Um, Coconut water, I already put in one. Hey Mark, Joanne's friend wants to know why are you wearing that underneath your apron? Oh, what are you wearing underneath that apron? I got a shirt on. I got Joanne, a shirt. he's wearing a shirt. Obviously. And pants. <laughs> Underpants. He's, he's wearing a lot of clothes right now, Joanne. More than I had. <laughs> and then, I take pineapple. I do. Actually, if you want, you can get to, do you have small glasses and everyone can give it a shot and try it sure. out? Sure. A little bit of pineapple. You could also, if you wanted for better skin, you could actually add in frozen avocado. Size, size it up. Plop it on. Hit it on ultra. Now the quinoa is pretty much going. Okay, we gotta turn this down. Okay, 
hair. Right, how would I would do? She's good. She's good? Okay. She's good. I thought so. Too. There we go. And this is one serving, Mark? Yep. Oh, oh, wow. I'm chug back in the morning. Each. Each. Okay, I'll, I'll let you do the pouring, Mark. Good. I'll show you a quick way to clean your ninja. Sonia hates it when I do it. Is it baking soda? Nope. Uh, vinegar? Nope. If you're going to be okay, using it again. It? Oh, you put it back on the, the blender. Then. That's it. Yeah. Well, because we're going to use it again. I never thought of that. I just put a little water in here. Archie, did you take note on how to clean it? Just do a little splash. Seal it up. There you go. Okay, how is this coming along? That's coming along, right? And that should be fine. We're going to add in a few more now just to warm it up. You rinse it out. We're going to use those blades right away for the other two protein shirts. Yeah, that's a lot of quinoa. That is pretty This one's quinoa. a multicolored one. I don't know why. We just like it because it's getting a little more color. Let's mix it up a bit. Oops. Saw that, right? Put that there. Oh. And here we're going to add the buckwheat already in. And again, you cook buckwheat and you cook quinoa pretty much identically the same. You know, you just basically two to one and you just put it in. Buckwheat's really good for you because yeah, it's a little high in cholesterol, but it's good for your gut health and also for, it helps your blood too. Didn't you say it helps you with your ovaries? It helps you with your ovaries too. So it's good for ovaries, good for good women. Good for ovaries. That's it. We always want to be careful. You know what? About. Actually, Coach Hugo eats a lot of buckwheat too. He said it's really good for you as well. Yeah. Yep. That's if you have ovaries. Okay, so then here. Now what we're going to do now here is we use the old, with this part, we use a little taco seasoning and you do it just like you would make a regular taco on it put it in there now you need to put a little bit of fluid oh, just behind you. Yeah, it's right behind you what kind of fluid mark and you put a little bit of h2o so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this one here did you try the protein shake yet Oh, you know what? I didn't. Well, chop, okay. chop. Let's I'm get at her. It. Okay. Cheers. I wasn't sure if you're gonna do that or what. Mm. This is delicious, Mark. It is. I like nice I like kinds of pineapple. And you keep frozen pineapple in the house. For you, Jerome. Oh yeah. Take care of our guy. What's that? Oh, this is good. Mm -hmm. it's missing. Well, what do you Bubbles. think? Of, what do you think oh, I'd serve? Bubbles? <laughs> Wait, tapioca? Make it boba. <laughs> you know what? Actually, there's a shortage there's a or shortage something. There's a shortage of boba. Oh, there, it was on the news that there's a shortage of boba, and we don't know how long we're going to get a shipment of boba. The bubbles, yeah. That's, that's how right, I saw that. That it made the news. Like, how do they do it without those straw? Because aren't they trying to ban plastic straws? And those boba straws are pretty big. You know what? I think they're making metal. Because I think we have a metal boba Yeah, straw. but that's not the fun part, is watching I know, it through the plastic right? straw and watching yeah. bubbles come up. You need to see the colors. Yeah. Man. 
See, when you've been here a second time, you know where things are. Yes. How are we doing there? You know what? I'm not too sure. Oh, it, it actually looks looks nice. Let's take a look. We have two minutes left, but I think our beef looks good, Mark. Right, the vegetables, here. what do you think? Uh, a little bit longer. Let's just get it up. Okay. Two more minutes then. Okay. See, I got you on the kosher salt. Good. Oh, I love kosher salt. We're obsessed with it. Mark, Ashley wants to know how much avocado did you use? Avocado? Well, yes. no, if you do avocado, you could use a half a, about a half a cup. Half a cup? Yeah, or a quarter cup. Okay. You just want a little bit of it. And you know, it adds that creaminess too. Yeah. Well, this is nice and warm. Now I put in more cheese than ever, but then all you do is you put a cup of cheese, shredded cheese in here. Right. There's more than a cup in here, but I thought it just in case someone wanted it for the fajitas. And that's, I just bought the straight, uh, I usually will shred my own cheese, mm -hmm. but uh, I use like, you know, a Monterey Jack and pepper, uh, Monterey Jack and just cheddar. And you just mix it up. It doesn't look pretty, but boy, oh boy, it is good. And so the beef and quinoa, is that a meal on its own? Yeah. It is? Okay. Yeah, and sometimes what we'll do is like right now when it's like this, yes. is I'll take some, when I turn it off or so, I'll throw in some frozen uh, peas or, or edamame or whatever I got kind of that's frozen and just because I want it to still maintain its color. Right. And just... Put that on simmer. And this is pretty much. And is this a, a meal on its own as well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is a meal on its own itself. Or like I said, we'll just have it for lunch too. Okay. So that's uh, we're almost pretty much done on that. We'll just let that we'll just let that simmer out. See, a a a. Next one. You know, I've never actually used these, the simmer. I've never simmered it before. <laughs> I just learned something new and there I've had this for <laughs> almost two years. And I've had my stove for <laughs> a few not, months. In a few months and I already <laughs> know. See, I cook a lot. Okay, so the next one is just our simple morning shake. Okay. So, but uh, we always like vanilla protein because you could always mix it up. So we use vanilla protein and we buy and I used to drink four liters of milk a week. Yourself, four liters of milk. Four liters. Four liters. As a, was that just your beverage of choice, or did oh, you yeah. use it? No, okay. that's all I used to drink. I never really drank pop. And so how do you feel now if you're not drinking the four liters? Don't miss it. You don't miss it? No, I don't miss it. So we use, uh, we use the unsweetened coconut. We use the unsweetened milk. One, two. Oops, great. Mix it in. Would you use a bigger scoop? That's a bigger scoop than the one I use. A protein? Yeah, yeah. That's just different. the serving size. Oh, yeah, mine seems smaller, but each company does each, it. Different. Yeah. That, and then we neither use bananas, frozen bananas, a half of frozen banana, or I like Ooh. I like blueberries, or we'll get like if they have. Fro then the idea why we use frozen is instead of using ice cubes. Uh, wants to know why are you not making meatloaf? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, it had to do with um, an incident this weekend. Oh no! What's the incident? Uh, I was wearing a silk robe and I was pretending I was the guy Will Ferrell from Wedding Crashers. Okay. <laughs> and the guy comes into his. Are you, um, what's, who's the guy? Uh, the Ilson, Wilson boy. One of the Wilson guys comes in to see him and then he's sitting there, oh, Ma! Mm -hmm. Meatloaf! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then the next one. Oh, let's move this out a little here. So, okay. So you guys got uh, high ones here. here. Do you want a straw or a spoon? Well, just shake it. You should be able to shake it through a bit. And then after, once you hit it on full, full, full tilt. No, it's not reaching. No, it's not reaching. See, this would I would use my. 
Oh, yeah, that wants to start exploding. Oh, there we go. There we go. It got it. <laughs> Hi, Dina. Hello, Dina. And then, you know what? We can place this up. Plate it up? Yeah, plate it up. Hmm. Just gotta wait. It's a little loud. Well, you know what? When we mix a bowl, you got a bowl, we mix it all together, and then it'll be perfect. No, no, that's, uh, you know, pop that way, let you do that. Yeah. Go, go. I'll just put it here. Oh, it's right oh. here. Okay. <laughs> right in front of my nose. Okay. Um, We'll swipe the plate. We have some plates here too, Mark. Oh, you got it? Okay. I got it. I was looking at another plate to see if I wanted to plate it differently. That's fine. You know, I'm part of a food porn. It's all about the presentation. It is. And then... That is a good Eastern European dish. And back to the roots. And so is this one serving or two servings? Oh, no, this is more than that. Okay. Yeah, this, this would be like, actually, Sonia and I would eat this for, for two days. Okay, so this would make four servings then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, granted, in her case, I may take more than her. Um, I could have made it more. See, the thing is, the camera's on, right? He's watching me. Can't, can't see around. Now you gotta get a oh, little color. I'll, I'll put mine here. Whoa. <laughs> a little bit of parsley. Use the remainder here just to give it a little color. That's one. That's one. One. Now these, this quinoa dish, those their kids should be able to woof this down like it was their last supper, or they're getting a the chair. Because there should be no reason why I don't want to get a glorified hamburger. You know, pretty, if it tastes like mac and cheese, then they would love it. Oh yeah, it will be. Because it's got almost everything it is, right? Right. Almost like a cheeseburger, I like that. That's it. You see, and part of the whole belly burn thing is, is that you st still eat whatever you want. Sorry, you can eat. We're not. You're not being restricted. You're just being accountable of what you're putting in. Absolutely. Right. You're yeah. just sitting there saying, "I want it so that I can eat what I want." So you got to put in what you're going to eat first, and then from there, work it all in. And what I found. Um, which was very helpful for me and I got was the fasting oh yeah that was huge because I wasn't really a big fan of fasting and you know when I as soon as I woke up I really wanted my I put coffee. a little bit of uh, green oh, chives but on the it fasting of 14 to 16 hours minimum really helped me with the snacking well it's especially nighttime right? especially you're nighttime you're sitting there yes. watching TV and next thing you know you're pet swallowing donuts okay then, if I can open this, muscles. What's wrong? Okay, there we go. We I got go it, I got it. I should go to Fit Club, I know, right? <laughs> okay. So, I think your, well, this beef should be good. Beef should be, what do we got? Oh, here? we have a light here, too, if you want to take a look. Because you still got the caramelization, you'll still have the flavor. You want a bit of the crunch on the vegetables. Right. I, I prefer the crunch, to be honest. Okay. So let's okay. do it. Hit that. Turn it off. Or no, how does it turn off? Oh, it's canceled. That's what it's... You know, you thought about that, Jerome? You used, can... <laughs> you used the cancel button. 
But the first thing would be is push the button. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. And you know, with the flank steak, you could just come up. There's a lot of different recipes on marinades. You know, they're relatively all the same. And flank steak and skirt steak are actually one of the leaner cuts. Yeah, they're a little tougher, so you got to make sure. You can either do it as a whole piece and then just cut it along uh, against the grain. Mm -hmm. Or in this case, of course, it just makes it more sense to just cut it up ahead of time. Right. And then... Because you have your vegetables already, like I'm not a guy that, you know, for this I wouldn't use a lot of, like any kind of, some people want to use some kind of um, sauce, mm -hmm. but you got the ju juices from the vegetables. And then, I'm just putting it all in there. It's quite a bit. I think you could feed the neighborhood here, but... Well, you know, there's kids six could, of us here. So you know what? The kids can go set up a stand outside and have a fajita stand, you know, <laughs> instead of lemonade. That'd be pretty popular. You could start a new trend. And then... This is Mark's kitchen now. <laughs> oh, no, because, you know, the boss is here. <laughs> oh, yeah. She'd tear me a new one. Right, Sonia? <laughs> And then just kind of mix it up. You just want to mix it up a bit, get those vegetables in there. And your meat. Did you try the blueberry shake yet? You know, I didn't because um, I couldn't reach the cups. I was just going to ask if you want to grab the cups. Okay. It's just over there yep. on. on top. Let that all. Let the juices sink in. If you want to mix that up, that'd be super sure, duper. Sure, I'll do that. Oh. You want it? Yeah, I'll use it. Let's use fancy cups. Okay. I got Archer. He can do dishes tonight, right? But then I'm gonna make RJ. I'm gonna make a shake just for RJ. So this is what I would have in, uh, this is usually what we'll have for sure in the morning, neither with a banana or, like we alternate. Because it gets kind of boring after a while, always having the same kind of shake. Do you add lemon to your shakes? No. I'll add, for me, I'll add an extra scoop of protein and then a third of egg whites because I just need more protein. Because egg of whites? Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. And you put it in the blender, you don't, you don't, you don't taste it. Right, Sonia? She hates it. But does it have to be egg whites from the container or do you I use fresh it egg whites? Container, okay. It's just easier that way. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. I like it. It's very refreshing. When you use it's different. Vanilla, you always use vanilla because vanilla always goes with everything. Mm -hmm. So the next one, this is RJ's. This would be RJ's dessert shake. Okay. So again, use your scoop. And what else? Oh, hang on. Oh, I need his 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 friend Chapman. Oh, you know what? Okay, so Chapman's actually, they notified us. They, they contacted us on our, from our last Mary's Kitchen episode. Yeah. And we actually got some coupons from them. Boom. Yeah, we got some free coupons. What's that? Oh, yes. And we also got some free swag. We got some sauce from Chapman's. So guess what we bought today? Some more Chapman's. There you go. <laughs> okay. So even if you were to have this, right, you, you would still scan your protein powder, you'd still scan your your thing, mm -hmm. then you could scan your barcode on MyFitnessPal to sit there and say, okay, what do I need? So, half a cup, right? Yeah, let's get Archer half a cup. Half a cup, okay. Well, RJ, how would you have your milkshake? Well, you're having a milkshake today, buddy. You're going to have a milk. You know what the nice part about ice cream is when you do it like this? What's that? Fresh. 
before it's when it's open, it's probably the easiest to scoop it out. Oh yes. Mm -hmm, we're all watching. You're using. Yeah. That's it. Boom. This is. <laughs> yeah. All we eat is Chapman's. And then again, if you wanted to flavor it, but I'm a vanilla guy, so I like vanilla. And that baby will mix up and it'll be creamy. Um, so the next thing is with the fajita. Now you want to sit there. There's two ways that you could eat it with. Okay. Now, so, so good. So this is the flat out okay. one. I, I like using the flat out. Or you could use. And flat out's nice because it's got, you know, you're looking at 70 grams or 70 calories, but you're still getting a good, you're still getting four grams of protein on there. Yeah, your carbs, you're still going to get your carbs, but concerning the other option you have, it's a bit better of a choice, right? You don't want to, you can't deprive yourself. You can't live on a diet of just saying, I'm not going to have this. It's not sustainable. You want a, a diet that you could live off of. Right? Absolutely, I agree. And you go here. These wraps are so cute. I've never seen it that small before. Well, we've used them for even hamburgers. Oh, really? Okay. And where do you find these these flat outs? Well, we find it at Sobeys. At Sobeys? You just have to, you know, like when you're in that hole uh, where the wraps are and that, mm -hmm. sometimes it's kind of carried on the bottom. Well, you could wrap. There's many ways to do it, but I'd probably just go yeah. straight like that. Like a little burrito. Like a burrito. I want to get yourself a napkin just so that you don't get that juice running yeah, down. Yeah, I'll get a plate. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to see it dripping down. <laughs> well, it will on the lettuce for sure. Thank you. Okay. Then the other one, if you wanted to do, is you take your lettuce. For the more healthier, conscious Oh, a people. lettuce wrap. Okay. Actually, we did, we did it once of uh, using hamburgers, right, Sonia? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. as hamburgers. Yeah. So Shelly Carpeic actually uses kale leaves, and she swears by the kale leaves. And then, no, it's a little more. The problem with lettuce, though, is you get this that vein, <laughs> right? Yeah. Look at a good one. It just kind of cracks. Or you can always just double your lettuce. You can double it. You can double so lettuce, yeah. some extra lettuce here. Exactly. Add some extra lettuce here. Yeah, the more greens the better. You feel That's healthier. <laughs> okay. Let's do a taste test. Taste test. Okay. Okay. Yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. You know, Mark, my favorite protein is beef, actually. I love beef. I can eat beef every day. Well, and the problem is, is that everyone focuses on having just um, eating oh, thank you. chicken mm -hmm. all the time. But it's just a matter of just trying to pick the right cuts of beef and then just making, you know, again, factoring it in what you're eating. And actually, cows are vegetarian because they only eat grass. You're right. <laughs> cows only eat grass. I don't think they eat other stuff, right? No, no. <laughs> I had to think about it. Stumped yet. Okay, we have one more, Mark. So this is RJ's dessert. Oh, yeah, that goes to RJ. Okay, RJ, this is for you. Uh, he'll chug that. That'll be like his last drink for dinner. Or do you want to drink it right now? We'll probably yeah, finish that quick. <laughs> A little bit. Oh, it's for you. Okay, you want to share with me? Okay. Let's see. Mark, I need your... 
Well, you can share it with your wife. Right, let's put it in this. We don't have a lot of people over, so we run out of cups. Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay. As you can tell, we have all of these different cups. This is Jerome's fancy cup. <laughs> yeah, let us know what you think. Delicious ice cream. Yeah. Ooh, there's a kick. Mark's there's a kick? milkshake definitely brings the boys to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, this is great, everybody. Well, look, you don't feel so guilty eating. Let's do a taste test with the other few dishes, too. All right. Okay. I'll just try... Um, Wait and see what the kids say on that. This cheeseburger one. The quinoa. And then yep. this is the buckwheat and mushroom side. And the buckwheat, you could use different mushrooms in that, like, too. Like portobellos and cremini's. And I'll try this hamburger one first. I like that. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Kathy Bodie's mushroom nut burger. Mm -hmm. It does. Kathy, did you hear that? It reminds me of your burger. Mm -hmm. Those are good burgers. It is. Oh, you've tried Kathy's yep. burgers too? Yeah, I, I, I text her. No, I haven't done it on Friday food porn. Did I do it on food porn? Oh, yeah, I did. And this buckwheat one just tastes really good. It tastes really healthy, actually. But I do like the texture. I like how there's the crunch of the onion and the mushroom. You get the caramelization, mm -hmm. and then you get you get from the mushroom. And then if you can, is when you put it on, you try to fry a little bit of the buckwheat up a bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the air Probably fryer. Could. Probably yep. could. Well, thank you so much. It's been fun. Mark, it's been having, oh my goodness. I still have food in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Come on, Mark. Yeah, yeah. It's been Mark, a pleasure. Where yes, where can we follow you? Well, I'm on Facebook and I'm on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. You can follow Mark on Facebook, Instagram. He always posts his Friday night food porn. You mean the abs in the morning? Abs in the morning, yeah. Abs in the morning. Well, no, that's on Zoom. You only can get that on Zoom. Shirtless, shirtless, right? Yeah. And shirtless. Short and I'm topless. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's been fun, Mark. Thank you so much for ha for well, coming on the show. Thank you. I really enjoyed it, and I've learned so much, but I really like this dish. Perfect. Good. And that one is so easy to make. Yes. And I guaranteed your kids will love it. And I like how you use quinoa, and actually quinoa has lots of protein in it as well. Yep. And I that. have it. I saved it all because, you know, I scanned it. Over here? Yep. So, boom. So, okay, so there we are. So the quinoa comes out to, it's actually 490 calories, okay? But you're looking at 26% carbs, about 31 grams of carbs, could be plus or minus. Fat, uh, 23, and it's more because of the cheese that you chose. For some reason, I just put Munster cheese in there. Munster cheese is great for if you ever do like cheeseburgers. Okay. And then protein powder, or sorry, protein, which is 36 grams. So it comes out to 26, 44, 30. Again, it's uh, 490 calories. What did I say for calories? 490. Yeah, 490. So that gives you your, you know, your count for the day, like for that one meal. A lot of people are always complaining they're not eating their calories. Well, right there, um, the buckwheat and onions and... Uh, Mushrooms, well, that only comes up to about 200 calories. Yeah, it's a lot more carbs because of the buckwheat, but you know, you could offset it more by more protein, by more mushrooms and such like mm -hmm. that. The berries is 170 calories, okay? And that would give you, now this one's a big whopper, right? Because your, your macros on that, you would have 27 grams of protein because of your protein powder, so that's like 63%. Your fat, 20, because that's from your milk. And then your carbs, uh, 13, uh, 17, or seven grams, and that's coming from your, uh, that would come from part of your milk and your berries, right? Right. And I didn't do the ice cream, but you still, fine, you could zap in the ice cream easy on there, and you'll know right off the get-go. But it's easy. You know, everyone, you just got to eat your calories for that day. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Mark. No Thanks, guys, for tuning in, and I'll see you next week on Mary's Kitchen. Bye now. Yeah.